Deer are found throughout Ireland and have been affecting travel by road and rail. In Rodair and figures released to RTE show the number of train collisions with deer have more than doubled in five years, rising from 24 in 2018 to 58 in 2022. Vehicle collisions with deer are also reported to be on the increase. The Road Safety Authority said there were 10 human casualties as a result of deer collisions from 2017 to 2021. And the Road Safety Office of Mayo County Council estimates four to 500 collisions take place annually, generally resulting in material damage to cars. Meanwhile, some farmers in County Wicklow say deer are impacting their livelihoods, grazing cow pastures after dark, as was the case on the O'Loughlin farm in Ockram last night. While I'm working, the deer are feasting on my grass here beside us. We need grass for our cows. We do everything we can to grow it, grow it well. Some farmers in Wicklow also believe deer are spreading TB to cattle, which is subject of ongoing study. Following a public consultation round, a new deer management strategy group set up by the Department of Agriculture has received in excess of 1,500 submissions, including one from the Irish Deer Commission that rejects the notion of a national deer cull, which Minister for the Environment Eamon Ryan recently said he agreed with. Deer management uh, works best when it's evidence-based. So what we mean by that is that there's evidence of negative impacts in regards to grazing, forestry and ecosystems. And, and this really works best at a local level. So it's clear there are challenges associated with the deer population. But just how big that population is, nobody knows, because a census of the animals has never been carried out. Joe McGrady, RTE News, County Wicklow.